three, the three common mistakes that three of us make, have made, or will make while shooting music videos. But I'm gonna drop the intro. Don't go nowhere. Bruce Lee. At a time I'm with you, yo, something else. It's a fact, it's a fact, and it's nothing else. Got your hand out, you don't even need a help. Oh, I don't need nothing else. Every time I'm with you, yo, it's something else. It's a fact, it's a fact, and it's nothing else. Got your hand out, you don't even need a help. Oh, that's right. I don't need nothing else. That's right. King's What's going on? It's Ruslan with KingsDreamENT.com. This channel exists to encourage, empower, inspire you to live out God's dream for your life. I shoot these live. I leave them up. It's just the way I make videos. I have a good time doing it that way. If you're watching this live, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know where you're watching this from. Let me know if you're an artist yourself or a cinematographer, singer, producer. I wanna hear from you guys. Also in the comment section. I like to hear from you guys in the comment section. So I'm gonna get into the top three mistakes that we make while shooting music videos. Previewing a music video that I have that's about to come out called Pocket Watching and basically just trying to get you guys to, to avoid the mistakes that I've made. So if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Ruslan. I'm a hip hop artist, creative entrepreneur. I run a boutique label called King's Dream ENT. Beautiful Southern, Southern California. I've been full time for five years and I've shot a lot of music videos. Now, why are music videos important? Well, it's just another shot to bat in terms of the YouTube algorithm. It's a great way to promote your music, having a visual that you could push on a lot of platforms for free, but then also using some of the tactics that I showed through stuff like Toned In, Instagram, Facebook ads, to get your music and grow your Spotify, grow your YouTube subscribers. If, a, you, if you're an artist in 2020 and you're not making videos consistently, I think you're dead in the water. I think it's a wrap for you. If you, if you aren't recording yourself and have your own studio set up, and if you aren't consistently, proactively, aggressively going after creating more music videos, this might as well be a hobby for you, right? And the difference between a hobby and a side hustle is a hobby is a side hustle that makes you money, right? And I want you guys to make money. I want you guys to make money off your Spotify. I want you guys to grow your careers, man. Have fans, sell merch, all that kind of stuff. But it requires most of us, 95% of us getting in the groove of consistently learning how to shoot visuals, music videos, vlogs, all that kind of stuff. And some people don't like uh, that idea, but whatever, it's 2020, man. What is you doing with your life if you're not shooting music videos? And, and being an early adapter to platforms like TikTok, like IGTV, like Facebook ads that everybody's kind of moved away from Facebook ads. It's a great opportunity for Facebook ads, YouTube ads, knowing how to finesse those different things. I'll be unpacking more and more of that as we go on. But if you've studied my buddy, Nick D, who went from 1,000 Instagram followers January 2019 to over 30,000 Instagram followers January 2020 in a year, You'll notice, what did he do? He dropped a music video every other week with a song. Now granted, he was a cinematographer. He kind of had an advantage. My job before I was full time with music was I was the video guy at my church. I kind of finessed my way into position there. So some of us have advantages and that's that. it is what it is. But I want to give you guys things to avoid, ways to avoid mistakes that a lot of people make when they're getting into making music videos. Now, the most common, the most common mistake is number one, you just aren't prepared. You, you don't have a location in mind. There's no concept in mind. There's, there's very little. You literally just got a camera, you're excited, so you're like, I'm gonna go outside and shoot, right? And I've done this mistake before. Like I haven't had a whole lot in mind. I just kind of go out and shoot and it just kind of turns out like crap, right? But when you have a couple of basic things, location, right? Uh, knowing how to use your camera, having ideally a gimbal, right? A gimbal to create nice movements, knowing what time to shoot, right? A lot of you guys are going out splat in the middle of the day, you're shooting outside and you're wondering why it looks like trash. Well, because you are shooting in a terrible time of the day, right? So uh, golden hour, the last hour of the day, the first hour of the day, lighting, right? Those are just some basic things. And if you aren't prepared, how about this one? Uh, how about this one? Some type of B-roll and understanding how to shoot B-roll, stories. So having some type of narrative and just not 
not having a plan, right? So I'm gonna give you guys the video we have and I'm, I'll show you guys some of this stuff, okay? So this is a video called Pocket Watch and it's actually gonna premiere right after this. Uh, so if you are on here on this live stream, join me for the premiere. I'm gonna turn my LUT down here in a second so you guys can see the un uncolor corrected version because uh, this is color corrected with a LUT on the live stream. So it's just like a LUT on top of a LUT, which looks kind of crazy. But uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm going to premiere this right after on the King's Dream YouTube page. So as soon as we're done here, we should all head over there and check this video out because you see the finished version, you see the finished product. So let me go over this real quick. Okay, I'm gonna take the LUT off now. Give me one second, guys. Um, this was shot by my buddy, Zach Sparazzo. I pretty much came up with the idea and I directed it. Uh, well, he, he directed it, I, you know, I, I, it was my concept. So this is a video where we had a couple things. We, we had some things going for us. We had a location and we had a basic premise of the story. The song's called Pocket Watching. It's talking about the aspirational side of rap music. It's talking about the aspirational side of wanting to be successful and tying in shoes from eighth grade when I was in eighth grade, this motif of these Jordan 14s that's actually in the previous Indy Jones videos, I finally go and get a new pair and it all tie in when I drop all these together. So the, the concept of the premise is very simple. We're going into good company in IE and I'm buying these Jordan 14s, right? There's my boy, he's bringing them out to me, boom. Check the box, wow, these are Jordan 14s, and I buy them, right, and there's just a bunch of cool B-roll, and then I shoot him with the money, with the money gun, right? Basic, 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 basic premise, right? Now, we had a lot of things in mind to shoot this, and we had a basic idea, we had location, we had a basic premise, all things that made this easier. Now, here's what we, where's the second mistake? Okay, second mistake. You shoot too much footage. If you're not prepared, you're going to shoot too much footage, okay? If you shoot too much footage, you're gonna dread having to edit it. And we made this mistake on this video. We had the location, we had the premise, um, we, were, we were relatively prepared, but we shot too much footage. And I'll show you what that, what that looks like. So here's my Final Cut Pro X. Now this is the shoot, and this is all the footage we got. This is a lot of footage. This was not fun to go through and try to pick out the best parts, pictures of Pauly Russ. I don't know how the photos got in here, but this is a lot of footage. We just overshot, man. Right, look at all this. This is just so much stinking footage. There's just one video. So that was the next video we did. Okay, so shooting too much footage can definitely, um, make you less inspired to want to finish the project. So first mistake is you're not prepared. You don't have a location in mind. You don't have a premise. You don't have uh, anything to kind of get you through the process, right? Um, you, you Maybe you're not prepared with your lyrics. I make that mistake a lot, right? You just, you don't know your raps that well yet. So mistake number one is you're not prepared. You didn't think it through. Even just getting a, a sheet and just think of, locate. what do I need? I need a location. I need some type of B-roll. B-roll is something to carry, some type of narrative. Um, preferably shot in slow-mo. It just, it just looks cool, right? And then, and then uh, what's the location? What's up with the lighting? Does the light, does it have natural lighting? Is it indoors? Is, or do we have to bring lighting, right? Are we shooting outdoors during golden hour? Who else is going to be in it? Can they be there on time? Being prepared, right? Having a premise. Some people like storyboard videos. I'm not that guy, okay? I'm not that guy. I don't storyboard stuff, but I just get basic stuff. The second thing is shooting too much footage. Shooting too much footage. Then you're just overwhelmed because it's just so much stuff to look at. And we definitely made that mistake here. And the second mistake will usually, will usually lead to the third mistake. What is the third mistake, you ask? Go to this camera. The third mistake is not dropping the footage in and working on a rough edit as quickly as possible. This video, this video that's about to drop, we're about to go to the premiere on YouTube and watch it. This video came out, excuse me, this video was shot last summer. Right? I dropped the footage in, I started kind of editing it, lining it up, but then I was just like, I had too many performance shots because I didn't know my lyrics, we had too much footage to go through, and I just got overwhelmed, which then made me procrastinate, okay? So, don't procrastinate. You shoot a video, drop that mug in, get to editing, get a rough draft in, 
preferably within 48 hours, as quickly as possible. If you do that, I think you will, uh, you will be way more likely to put it out. You'll be way more likely to put it out. And so we made that mistake with this one, man. And so that's why, you know, if you're looking, if, we, if I go back here and you look at the time code, I don't know how well you guys can see that, April 30th, 2019 was the song. Oh, here we go. This was shot June 18th, 2019, almost a year ago. This was shot a year ago, okay? So when you shoot a video, avoid not being prepared, avoid overshooting, and avoid not getting the footage dropped in as quickly as possible. That is the most important thing, okay? So um, then be willing to improvise on the spot. We have this, sh this shot right here, which like this was kind of like a last minute thing with, um, let me show you. The, some homies showed up with a really fly low rider. I'll show you guys the footage, where is it at? Okay, like we didn't storyboard uh, Jody cleaning the shoes, right? Uh, we didn't storyboard like this shot, for example. We didn't storyboard um, the, the the dude showing up with the car, right? We just It just kind of happened. So we rolled with the punches, right? Um, but I promise you, if you drop the footage in right away and you're being flexible, you're gonna be way more likely to complete it. Now, I'm gonna be dropping, I'm, I'm, I'm committing, hopefully, which we'll see how this goes, because I don't got a video for next Saturday, but I'm trying to drop a, um, I'm trying to drop a video every single Saturday, so I'm gonna be developing more and more tips to give you guys in the process that I'm learning, right? More and more tips, more and more blueprints, cheat sheets, if you will. Um, know Your Worth Productions says you mean undershooting. No, I mean overshooting. I'm, I absolutely mean overshooting. I absolutely mean you just shot too much stuff and now there's analysis of paralysis. You got too many performance shots because the rapper didn't know his parts. You got too many, too much B-roll. You don't have a story, so you're just winging it and just trying to shoot as much as you can, right? Um, now, I'm gonna give you guys a bonus tip. Um, let me show you guys some of the video real quick. I'll show you guys, I'll, I'll kind of skim through it. So again, this is the double LUT, so it looks a little, you know, so we're gonna go watch it right now. Uh, we got a lot of good stuff too here. Like this, is, this, this video came out fire. It just took longer than it needed to. Bonus tip, a lot of you guys are shooting on your iPhones. A lot of you guys are shooting on your iPhones. Here's the thing, an iPhone has a focal length, I believe, of 18 millimeters. I gotta look it up. Um, but the iPhone is a wider um, than most cameras, right? So let's look it up. I iPhone focal length, it's 26, okay? 26 millimeters is the focal length, okay? Now what does that mean? Um, and then there's the ultra wide on the iPhone Pro. It means that it's great to shoot for, um, for vlogging, right? The back facing camera, the front facing camera, all that stuff is great. The thing with an iPhone is it's a, it's a wider shot, right? What does that mean? That means we're accustomed to seeing movies, television shows shot 35 to 50, sometimes as much as 70, okay? What does that mean? That means this, I think we're at, this camera is, uh, where are we at? I think we're at like 20 on this thing. I'll tell you guys the exact focal length here in a second. Okay, so this is 24, right? This camera's 24. This camera's equally away from me. This camera is like more zoomed in, right? So movies, movies, TV shows, the way we're used to seeing stuff, we're used to seeing faces closer up, right? Or at least chest up. So a quick tip, those of you guys that are shooting music videos on an iPhone is go closer in or get a, or get a lens for your iPhone, moment lens. Go closer in so that you can make it feel more of uh, like, a, like a music video, like a film, right? If you're closer in. If everything is super far back and I'm rapping and I'm back here, like, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? It's just not gonna, it's just not gonna look right, right? So know that when you're shooting on an iPhone, you have to go in. You know what I'm saying? 50 millimeter is similar to iView, absolutely. They say, they say that that is about at which uh, iView we see. So you wanna shoot music videos at a similar iView. So if an iPhone, you know, is uh, what is the focal length of it? Uh, like an eight, for example, is 28 millimeters. They're all kind of slightly different, right? So if you're, if the iPhone's shooting at 28, but we're seeing at 50, you gotta get way closer on those shots. So I saw a video yesterday on the Fan Love Friday and I was like, yo, something didn't feel right about it. And it was because everything was so far back and it didn't feel right. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. 
Uh, the video for Pocket Watching right now, I want you guys to go watch it with me. It's about to premiere on the King's Dream YouTube page in like three minutes. It's in the description. It's in the uh, pinned comments. I'm gonna post it in this chat. And I want you guys to come hang out with me, watch it. This is the final video. So you guys will get an idea of my entire process. What does it look like? And um, all that good stuff, man. We shot on an iPhone video for Sunkiss video. Went retro with it, but I need a dope performer. Yeah, yeah, man. Appreciate you, Bart. And Bart, Bart's one of those guys that's doing it. So join me over there for the premiere uh, right now. I'm trying to get 100 people in this premiere. It would help me out a lot. And if you're watching the post of this, it's all good. Just, just go watch the video and give it a like and a comment and all that stuff. All right? Appreciate y'all, man. Peace.